Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, uh, I did just get in a ton of new WWF LJN Wrestling Superstar posters. So, yes, we are going to return uh, to the poster review videos. So, as you know, when the last one or one of the last videos we did were the uh, Series Four continuation posters. Uh, we had a I think it was three posters that we missed in the series four review and then we included series six because we only had two uh posters from series six and then the next the last video was all of series five well because i've been having problems with my camera cell phone or my my camera my cell phone camera excuse me <laughs> i'm gonna try and do things a little bit different and i'm gonna try and show the posters on the actual uh, computer camera. Hopefully this works out. Uh, if it doesn't work out well, then we will come back and I will uh, refilm it uh, via cell phone camera. But uh, I'm not expecting any problems. So, so with this, I'm gonna do all of the you know series six posters. But I'm also gonna include the tag team posters that you may not have seen. Uh, before so I think the only tag team poster that I did show were the British Bulldogs from series 3 so you're gonna have a few more tag teams to reflect on this time as well and uh, on top of all the different posters you didn't see you're also going to see in the next week or two there's really only one action figure I'm waiting on, one more uh, LJN variant, and then when that comes in, I'm going to do another Wrestling Superstars review to include all of the different variants and some of the different, you know, packaged LJN figures I didn't have during the actual LJN review as well. So, uh, let's dig in. So, you did see these first two figures the first time I did the review. But I will show them again. Uh, they do include the Big Boss Man. Now, as you remember, Big Boss Man, he was a lot heavier uh, than when he first entered the WWF. And I'm sorry, I do have to kind of lean my head in just to make sure that the poster is showing up on screen and that you guys are getting full visual. So this is the visual of Big Boss Man. All right. Yeah, I don't expect this to be a long video. I mean, it shouldn't be. I mean, it should be relatively quick, you know, seven minutes, eight minutes, something like that. Uh, this is Rick Rude. Give it distance away. Hopefully those lights don't get in the way. And then up close, that's a full view. So, once again, those were the two initial uh, posters that I did have. So, uh, from a seller in Canada, I did spend a fortune. I'm sorry. I have uh, I have major compulsions and. And I can't help it. <laughs> uh, so that was two of the posters. And let's see. All right. So continuing on from the Black Card series, we also have. Now, it does say Powers of Pain, so it is supposed to be both Warlord and Barbarian, but of course, as we already know, Barbarian was never made for LJN, only Warlord, but it is an awesome poster nonetheless, and this is the LJN poster for Warlord. And then we scooch over. And then back of his LJN figure, you actually see the King Haku get up. So 
It's a relatively simple poster for Haku. Really nice one there. So that's four out of six. And then, oh, we got Rick Root already. And then probably my most coveted among the group, which is the Ultimate Warrior. So I'm trying to get out of this light here. Maybe I twist this down a little bit. Don't want it too dark for you guys, but uh, hopefully this works. Awesome. That, okay. And then, and then we got the big guy. We got the Andre the Giant in black strap. And what I really like when you notice over on this side, that's actually the uh, poster for the referee. And uh, at first, I thought that was like the uh, the card backing, but no, that's the actual poster. And it's kind of like a checklist of all the different uh, wrestlers that you'd find from the LGN line. And I heard that there's like that there's like a checklist that you would find, but to actually see it up front. Yeah, see, that's not even hard. So that's not cardboard. That actually is an actual poster. So that's the referee poster. So referee, that was the uh, Series 5 referee poster. I'm trying to go through this so I uh, make sure that there's no... Because I think uh, pretty much everything that's in here... I actually bought one and got one here. This is also from Series 5, Honky Tonk Man. And uh, I was bidding on an individual poster before I bought this lot and won. So I got an individual poster in a few days ago. And then I got this whole lot in just today. So I now have duplicates of this poster. But... Here is the Series 5 Honky Tonk Man that I didn't have in the first video. Alright, so now that the uh, Series 6 is kaput, the big one, what are the tag teams? From Series 5, Strike Force. And, you know, you think that this is like such an important tag team poster to own. I mean, I bid, I was bidding on one of these uh, loose very recently. I think it sold for close to $200. <sighs> Probably more than that. I can't, it may have actually sold for like $250. I don't remember the exact price, but... 150 to 250. I don't know why. I mean, this is such a simple poster. I mean, me being me, I want it for no other reason other than I had to have it. But the reason I wanted this more than anything, more than the Series 6, are those guys right here. The tag team poster. Of the Heart Foundation is probably like a five hundred dollar po poster just by itself. I love the fact that they got the championship belts and everything. That is so awesome. I love that the Anvil's holding his by the side. And of course, we already looked at the Heart or uh, the British Bulldogs already. Try to look at this and uh, see if they miss. Yep, they even misspelled uh, Brett again with two T's. And they separated the word Hitman. Well, at least they spelled Nightheart correct. 
<laughs> so you see Brett spell with two T's. That is so awesome. <laughs> uh, I think this is the last major one. From, also from Series 4, along with the Heart Foundation, is the tag team set of the Killer Bees. So I now have tag teams of the Killer Bees. I have the individual poster of B. Brian Blair. So I need the individual poster of uh, Jim Brunzel. And that would complete the, the Killer Bees section. All right. Super cool. Oh, you know what? Um, not in this booklet from another buyer. I just bought this a few days ago as well. Sorry, it's kind of crumbly, but the Vince McMahon Series 4, or is it Series 5? Yeah, so the Series 4 Vince McMahon poster. I'm actually going to throw this in this portfolio booklet as well. I didn't have this during the review either. So, I don't think, with the addition of these new posters, I don't think I'm missing any posters. No, I think that's everything. Just kind of look at, well, nope, I just said I'm missing the Jim Brunzel poster, individual poster. Uh, still missing the tag team poster of uh, Volkov and Sheik. I'm missing the tag team poster of Hogan and Hillbilly. I'm missing the tag team poster of the Dream Team. I'm missing individual posters of the Bulldogs. If they have it, which I think they do. I'm missing the individual poster of Jim Neidhart. And I th think. Oh, I'm missing individual poster of Rick Martell. And individual poster of Strike Force Tito Santana. So actually, I got quite a bit. Now I don't have, but still, this is a massive quantity. I am so grateful to have all of these. Uh, oh man. Ugh. I'm really looking forward for that. Uh, that white trunk. B. Brian Blair to come or white trunk, yellow trunk. B. Brian Flair. B. Be Brian Blair figure to come in because once that variant comes in I'm gonna make another video of all of the different variants I got in and some of the new carded figures that weren't part of my original review videos and uh, that should lock up those review videos any of you guys interested almost all of my videos have playlists and even the thumb wrestlers and the bendies I put that in the same playlist as my review videos, LJN review videos, so uh, some of the videos like my favorite, my least favorite videos, I haven't made playlists for those. I'm, at some point I probably will and I think that is something I will probably get on soon because I probably should. I should I probably should have done that a long time ago. But uh, I mean that gives you the opportunity to check out a lot of videos you know, simultaneously and whatnot. That should be a lot of fun. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, look forward to hearing what you guys think in the comments and uh, talk to you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.